So you saw me collecting some logs out of a brush pile and dumping a few logs off. You may be wondering why I'm doing that if I haven't posted any sawmilling videos. I haven't had an update on the sawmill whatsoever pretty much since I bought it. And that is actually because I sold the sawmill. There's a few reasons why I did sell the sawmill. First one is, if you guys remember, I messed up my shoulder again quite a few months ago now and they were thinking surgery would be my best option and the recovery time after the surgery was going to be like six months until I could be back to some decently manual labor. So that was the first reason I wouldn't have been able to use the sawmill for at least a year. Second reason is it was a used sawmill and it wasn't a name brand sawmill. So there were little things going wrong with it all the time. Um, me and my brother worked hours on it trying to get it dialed in. The main reason it was messed up was because one of the first times I was cutting the drive belt popped off. It got cut by the blade. When I was trying to install the new drive belt, I unscrewed the wrong bolt and screwed up the alignment on the entire thing. And we just never got it dialed back in great. So we were having trouble with the blade diving going up. It just was not cutting flat. And the last reason was used sawmill prices are through the roof. The reason is due to the lumber shortage for the last two years or supply chain issues, whatever you want to call it, lumber prices were super high. A bunch of people were buying sawmills to either make some money while prices were high or to lower their costs if they were doing their own building projects. So due to the demand in new sawmills, all the sawmill companies, they got backed up making them and their wait time was over a year out. So a bunch of people are trying to find used ones to buy now. So I bought that sawmill right out a year ago, this week probably, and it was relatively cheap then. When I sold it five or six months ago, I sold it for double what I paid for it. I only listed it $500 less than the new price. So, and I had it sold pretty quick. Um, the guy that came out to buy it, he was actually a mechanic, so we knew he knew all the issues going on. He said he was gonna work on it and he didn't want to wait a year for a new one. So he was willing to buy a used one that he had to fix up and get going again. So yeah, that was the last reason. It's just prices were high and it was time to cash in and make a little bit of money. And because I made a decent amount of money, almost made double what I paid for it, I was able to put all of that money towards a brand new sawmill. Since at the time I assumed my shoulder being messed up, I wouldn't be able to do anything for another year. The wait times on Wood Miser was I think 40 some weeks at the time I ordered. So I ordered a brand new Wood Miser. I won't tell you which one yet. Um, but originally it was supposed to come in beginning of 2023 I believe. So since I knew I wouldn't be able to use a new one I didn't mind the wait time. Once the new sawmill got here I was supposed to be good and up and going with my fixed shoulder. Since I'm not getting shoulder surgery um, I've been working on my shoulder trying to get it a little back up to normal um, which I'm pretty much there now. I just can't do hanging exercises right now. Um, but picking things up, manual labor, it's all seem, seeming to go well. So with that being said, Wood Miser, they ended up contacting me. Well, actually I contacted them um, and they said if I upgrade to a different engine on my sawmill, I could get it pretty soon instead of next year. So I opted to do that and I assumed the wait time would still be another month or two. Turns out the sawmill is supposed to be here relatively soon, like this week. So I've got a new sawmill coming, which is pretty exciting. It's a little less manual, but it still is a manual sawmill. I won't tell you which model yet until I actually get it home. So that's why I'm still trying to salvage some logs that the guy bulldozed and trying to get free logs from the tree service, just so I can have a stockpile of logs once the sawmill gets here. And I don't have to wait around for logs when I want to do some milling. You can see I've got some scrap logs here, mostly walnut and a few uh, cherry. Got a few hedge logs there. I'm gonna try to crawl over there without getting covered in ticks and chiggers. And there's probably a few snakes in here. But this is a big stack of walnut. Um, before we had the fence lines bulldozed, um, you guys may remember the clip of us cutting down a big walnut tree. We had a logger out here. The logger cut down all of the logs that were worth anything in the fence line. That way we weren't just pushing them over and wasting them. So um, 
these are scraps that the log buyer didn't want. The log buyer just didn't want them because they're not perfectly straight or they're not big enough for their giant sawmill. Um, but we've got some decent crotches and we've got some with holes in them. Decent sized logs, just they have things that aren't so valuable for um, a production sawmill. So um, we've got a number of logs here got a maple there it may start rotting here pretty soon and then we've got a big pile of cedars which I'm really excited to cut I love the smell of cedar so excited to cut all those cedar logs and then besides these two stacks here I've also got another pile of logs that are cherry and then quite a bit more cedar um, where the pigs are so that's a new update yes I have a new sawmill coming I'm pretty excited about it and hopefully you guys are excited for some new sawmilling videos I never really got around to those with my old sawmill just because I was having so many issues with it but with the new sawmill we should have some videos coming out at least once a week in between my farm vlogs so hope you guys are looking forward to those and with that being said I'm going to sign off here thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time